Do you use a hundreds chart to help your students learn how to count money? I found it to be a game changer. So obviously we can learn to count our pennies by putting one on each number as we say it. That's pretty straightforward and simple. And kids generally are really good at counting pennies because it's counting by one. When we count our fives, I like to notice how we end up with coins on the fives and the decade numbers. And your students can notice that too. So it becomes very simple for them once we've done this a few times to realize that when you count by fives, you're gonna end up on these numbers. My very favorite one, of course, is gonna be when we add dimes. Yes, we go straight down the decades column when we add dimes to 10, but what happens if we've got a quarter? Well, now, instead of going down the decade numbers, we're gonna go straight down from the 25. And it becomes very easy for our students to understand how adding 10 is just moving straight down one space on your hundreds chart. And I found this is really helpful for my kiddos learning to count money. So uh, again, if we're gonna do just quarters, we know how to get there. We only have to remember four numbers, 25, 50, 75, and a dollar. I use this 100 chart when I have my students count mixed coins. If I ask a kiddo to show me 47 cents, most of them will start with a quarter. I do encourage them to start with the biggest coin because it does make it easier. And I want to get to 47 and they're going to look at this and go, okay, we need to go down two rows and now I need to go across to a 47. I have 25, 35, 45, 46, 47 cents. And this has been an absolute game changer on learning to count mixed coins. I hope it helps you too.